Over to some other political stories we're tracking this morning. After paying a sudden visit to the Solana Masjid uh, in Babanipur on Monday, West Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee will be visiting a Gurudwara in her constituency today. Didi will be interacting with leaders and representatives of the Sikh community ahead of the bypolls that's later to happen on September 30th in a bid to woo non-Bengali voters in the area. Bhavanipur is primarily home to Marwadis, to Gujaratis and Sikhs as well as Hindi-speaking Hindi communities who first came in the 17th century. There are about 90,000 Bengali voters, 50,000 very crucial non-Bengali voters in Bhavanipur. The number of Muslim voters is also large. There are about 45,000 Muslim voters. Uh, Mamta will also meet non-Bengali voters on the 16th. Tomorrow, she's going to be listening to the community members addressing some of their issues. The non-Bengali speaking voters in Babanipur mount a serious challenge to the electoral machine of the TMC because BJP has been cashing in on their votes in the state. Prema Rajaram is joining us live with more details on this. Prema, good morning. Will be interesting to see Mamta's Gurudwara visit today. The TMC knows full well that there are certain challenges that could turn against Mamta, one of those being non-Bengali voters who could choose to side with the BJP. Absolutely, Mamta Banji not taking chances even though she's won from this constituency twice before and she will be visiting this Gurudwara here on Elegant Road. This is one of the well-known Gurudwaras in the city, comes under the Bhavanipur constituency and she is going to reach out to the Sikh speaking community, the Sikh community where uh, we must remember also the farmer protests uh, is something that is in some of their minds, still fresh in their minds. There were farmer lead protest leaders who had come here to West Bengal and reached out to Mamta as well. So that is one of the factors. And we must also mention, Akshita, that just a few meters away from this Gurudwara is the Hanuman Temple and that's from where Priyanka Tebrewal had started uh, her visit when she had gone to file her nomination at the nomination center. And the day she was declared the candidate as well, uh, she had come to this temple. So both the BJP and the Thurmal Congress doing whatever they can uh, to reach out to the non-Bengali voters and of course for Mamta Banji, very crucial to uh, cash in on whatever she can to do as far as the non-Bengali speaking voters are concerned. Back to you, Akshita. All right, Prema, we'll track the latest that comes in from Bhavanipur. For the moment, thank you for joining us. Now, the Babanipur battle is a make-or-break one for Mamta Banerjee. In a sense, it's a safe seat for her because she's represented the constituency many times in the past. Let's break down exactly who constitutes uh, Babanipur's seat and who are the voters Mamta will have to uh, woo. Remember that Babanipur is part of Kolkata. As we have mentioned, they are a microcosm of cosmopolitan Kolkata. Now, remember that as far as Babanipur is concerned, it's got a huge non-Bengali voter base as well. 40% of non-Bengali voters are there in this constituency, that could prove to be a bit of a problem because so far non-Bengalis have chosen to vote for the BJP. The constituency is home to Marwadis, to Gujaratis and Sikhs, which is why Mamta is going all out to also reach out to these voters. There's also a huge Muslim population which holds the key, no doubt, to victory. Mamta Banerjee a few days back also made a surprise visit to a mosque in this constituency. So she's going all out to ensure that there's a walk in the park for her.